this week on the five-time Emmy award-winning State Champs. February is here and the stakes are getting higher in high school sports. The Detroit Public School League is the best it's been in a decade. If the city playoffs are anything like this week's main event, we all win. There's a brand new league on the hardwood called Project Unified. It's revolutionary and it sets new standards for inclusion. Spring will be here before you know it, so we all have reason to celebrate. Shake it off. State Champs starts now. Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. How are you doing people? Welcome back to the State Champs stage. As we kick off February as only we can, State Champs is presented by Lawrence Tech. I'm Lauren Plant. And I'm Kiara Hay. As we celebrate Black History Month and in honor of the Super Bowl, we salute a member of the Philadelphia Eagles who made his mark right here in Michigan. That's right, lots of highlights from a variety of sports to get to, but first, the high school hockey showcase took place this weekend. That's where we begin. Kevin Trzynski has the highlights to Kennedy Recreation Center in Trenton we go. First up, we had number 12 ranked Utica Eisenhower going up against Livonia Churchill. First period, Ike looking to take advantage early. Chris Burkhart with the shot and the save, but Mike Acorn behind the net and he banks it off the Chargers tender and it's in the back of the net. That's his third goal on the season. One nothing Ike after the first period. Churchill showing some grit late in the second period. Seth Kucharczyk's shot, the puck is deflected in front by Cameron Greener. That goal ties this game up one all, and it's also his third goal on the season. Two minutes later, the Eagles with an answer. Burkhart with a nice move and the pass to Matt Hayes in front of the net. The biscuit in the basket, 2-1 Eisenhower after two. To the third period, Hayes will put the game away on the breakaway. No chance for the Churchill goaltender here. Hayes makes it look easy. That's his 32nd goal on the season as Utica Eisenhower defeated Livonia Churchill 3-1 the final. Next up, we have two top-ranked teams going at it. Number 10, Flint Powers Chargers taking on number 18, Calumet Copper Kings. Flint Powers will light up the board first. Luke Evos feeds to the slot and it finds Cam Conover and over the glove he goes with the puck and into the back of the net. That's his 16th goal on the season, 1-0 Flint Powers. One minute later, Calumet will strike some copper. Hunter Rose shot from the point, looks to be deflected, and it's in the back of the net for his first goal of the season. Game tied at one. A few minutes later, Sam Urkilla building some speed in the neutral zone. The quick shot from the top of the circle, and this one squeaks by as the goalie got a piece of it, but it was not enough. 2-1 Calumet. Second period, Calumet up 3-1. Urkilla with the speed again through the zone. First shot is denied by the Chargers goalie, but the second try is good. That's Urkilla's 16th goal of the season. Copper Kings up 4-1. Still in the second, Alex Matillas with the shot. It's deflected in front by Tyler Johnson. The red light is lit, and that's Johnson's second goal on the season. As Calumet wins this matchup, 5-1 the final. How about some girls action as we have the Northville Mustangs going up against the Cranbrook Cranes. Let's skip to the third period. Northville down 3-2. This is Anna Zale, one-on-one -on -one with the Crane defender. Nice move, and she goes top cheddar on this one, and this game is tied at three. But Cranbrook would respond. This is Meg Bryce with the puck, going outside to in. The backhander hits the back of the net, and Cranbrook would win this one, 4-3, the final. Today I want to tell you about something exciting we are doing at the MHSAA with our Check-In Champ app, powered by My Student Aid. 
This free mobile app encourages fans to check in while they're at their favorite school's games. When you check in, you earn points. One lucky fan who earns the most points will win a $2,000 scholarship. Be sure to check in on your social media to earn bonus points. That's not all. There are an additional $2,000 in scholarships available. Schools are divided on the leaderboard by classes A, B, C, and D, and the fans who earn the most points in each of those classes will receive a $500 scholarship. New this year is a weekly winner chosen randomly by all of the check-ins from that week. That fan will win a $50 gift card. Also new this year is a school leaderboard. The school who accrues the most points will win $2,000 for their athletic department to use however they choose. Getting started is easy. First, you'll download the app. Again, it's free. From the iTunes App Store, search MHSAA. If you have an Android device, search Battle of the Fans Check-In Champ. Once you have downloaded the app, it's important that you set up your account to choose your favorite school. If you have not selected a school, there will not be any games that display in your events module on the app. For more information on the Check-In Champ app or our contest, visit the MHSAA website. We want to take a minute to give a shout out to Ken High School, who has just named their first ever Athletics Hall of Fame. Among the festivities this week included a halftime recognition ceremony at Tuesday's Canton vs. Salem game. Among those inducted were now retired football coach Tim Beckler and former girls basketball star Katie Cezat. After the break, we'll have highlights of the Chief Rocks game along with more basketball action, so stay with us. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU Southfield Campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's. Dough Raiser. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. We've been doing this fundraiser for about four years and it's the easiest and best and most profitable fundraiser they have in Michigan. Go to DoughRaiser.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser. So, I got my start in officiating when a friend told me I should try it. At first I just did basketball and I got hooked. Before long I added baseball, softball, football and volleyball. I really enjoy giving back to the game, working with kids and working with my local association to recruit and train new officials. I would like to say to anybody that officiating is a great way to help kids and stay connected to the game. We always need new officials. There's help wanted, just listen. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Fast Break. D.Y., Dan Young in the house. We're here to talk girls basketball today and the power teams at the top of Class A and Class B. First off, welcome, Dan. Thanks. Good to see you again. All right. Class A, Saginaw Heritage, East Kenwood, East Lansing, all came in undefeated coming into this week. Well, all three very athletic. Girls that can go inside and out, guard multiple positions. That's the strength of these teams. Maybe not a superstar, although they have really good players that are going to go play in college, but going to be hard to deal with down the road here. But over in Class B, there's really two teams at the top of the tier. Williamston and East Lansing got together this week, so we'll see how they fared versus a Class A squad. But when it comes to Country Day, got to be the most powerful program in Michigan high school history. Am I wrong? It's, it's Country Day's tournament, and somebody's got to try to knock them off. They are the best team. Dan and I are going to talk about it in our State Champs Hang Time podcast. The B-Cam segment inside of there will dig a little deeper into A and B and possibly some teams, maybe some dark horse teams that could make a run in both of these divisions. So check that out. Right now, let's get back to the highlights and give you some basketball. The defending Class B state finalist Ludington making the trip to face off against the Cougars of Grand Rapids Catholic Central. 
We have CC fourth in our Class B rankings, and they have a Mr. Basketball candidate in Marcus Bingham. Off the miss, the Michigan State recruit, the follow-up jam. Cougars up early. Ludington coming in at nine and four. Will Sadler swings to the junior Nate Lang. Steps, stops, pops. Orioles trail 39-23 at halftime. But the Cougars simply unstoppable. Here, Bingham showing off his range. Later, this is what you call the exclamation point. The Bingham outlet, Austin Braun, the volleyball like set to Daryl Belcher. Good night. Grand Rapids Catholic Central cruises 82 to 41. Back to the east side where we mentioned earlier in the show the inaugural Canton Athletics Hall of Fame class enshrined on Tuesday. But there was also a boys basketball game. Canton went up against their park rivals from Salem. Canton in white undefeated at 12-0 and ranked ninth in our Super 10 rankings. First half, Kendall Perkins shot attempt off the mark, but senior forward Chase Merritt is scoring two of his eight points. Chiefs led 27-15 at the break. Salem is a work in progress, trying to keep in it in the third. Julius Nelson fights off the double, then finds Thomas Noble, who nails a long jumper. He also had eight on the night. But Canton led from the tip to the final whistle. Working well in transition, Meredith flips back to Benny Stesiak, and the sophomore dials it down from three-point land. Chiefs roll 60 to 43. They remain perfect on the season. I'm Jay Sarkar from the Lansing area. Battle of unbeatens in girls basketball in Williamston and East Lansing. Early second quarter, Amelia McNutt connecting from three-point land. East Lansing up by six. But later in the second, Williamston chipping away. Kenzie Lewis hits Allie Shear, who flies in for the layup. Shear led the Hornets with 21 this game. Hornets down by two. Then just before the half, Williamston grabs a lead. Bailey Cluisa just inside the three-point line sinks the jumper as the buzzer sounds. Willie up 21-19 at half. But third quarter, the Trojans pulled away. Aliyah and I had 22 points, including this up and under layup to give the Trojans a one point lead. East Lansing gets a big win on the road, 63-43 down in Williamston. In boys action, Hazlitt and Okemos facing off. We start off with the Chieftains on offense. Senior Jordan Henry, he scores and draws for this team. Here he knocks down the triple off the assist from Noah Pruitt. Okemos up by two. Hazlitt's turn with the ball. Mitchell Moed spins around the defender, feeds Hunter Nash, who lays that one in with a bunny. And then Ty Andrade is going out Outside. He drills the three here. Vikings taking a lead, but the Chiefs were too much to handle in this game. Fabian Leone knocking down a three-pointer here from the baseline. Okemos leading by eight. And how about a buzzer beater coming up here? Evan Thomas right before halftime with the defender's hand in his face sinks it. Okemos leads at halftime and goes on to win 64-59. to For state champs, I'm Jay Sarkar. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. The North American Auto Show might be one of the biggest events in Detroit, and Lawrence Tech had a role in it. So down at the Auto Show this year, we have a couple of different projects on display. Uh, we have a few of our transportation design students uh, work featured uh, in cars that they designed and then had built based on their models, uh, as well as some of the Blue Devil Motorsports vehicles are featured down there as well. So we're excited to welcome the Baja vehicle as well as the Formula SAE vehicle. So I think Lawrence Tech being down at the auto show opens a lot of really exciting doors for a lot of folks. So for the university, it helps us with promotion, with reaching prospective students, with reconnecting with alumni, and it gives our volunteers a chance to give back to the university and a chance to reconnect with those folks out in the public. And then for the students whose work is displayed, they have an opportunity to show off what they can do to potential employers and community members who may be looking to hire them after graduation. LTU has so many outstanding programs that allow students to express their creative abilities. So, if you're interested in building cars and want to learn more about the transportation design program, head over to ltu.edu right now. High school hockey fans, be sure to take the time to vote in our High School Hockey Player of the Year contest sponsored by National Coney Island. There are two changes made to the top 10 list this week, so go to statechampsnetwork.com to check it out and to vote for your favorite. Be sure to listen to the weekly high school hockey podcast, Power Play, and that's also presented by National Coney Island. This web show is uploaded every Wednesday at 3 p.m., and it can be found on our website, statechampsnetwork.com, our State Champs TV YouTube page, and also on iTunes, Stitcher, and SoundCloud. I take a look inside the new KLAA Unified League when State Champs returns.
so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. At Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield, we love football season, especially all the slow motion replays. So we thought we'd try a few ourselves. Here's Jeremy handing off the keys to another great lease payment. And there's CJ giving someone up to a thousand more than Kelly Blue Book on their trade. And here's me eating my lunch. Amazing, huh? So are these lease payments. Get Auto Show bonus cash and lease an Equinox for $168 a month or a cruise for just $99. See guys, everything looks better in slow motion. You wanna see me eat breakfast? No. Hey, it's my student A. Okay, let's go. Okay. Time to go to college. How can I get started? Wanna gain more knowledge, but I can't pay out of pocket. Call my student A today and we can get you on the way. If you really want it, all you gotta do is make a way. Looking for a scholarship, you trying to lend some grants? Visit my student A and we can help with that. My student A has the knowledge and tools to make college accessible, affordable for you. Welcome back to State Champs. I'm so excited about this next story because the Kensington Lakes Activity Association partnered up with the Special Olympics to create Project Unified Game Schedule. It's a program where students of all abilities can compete in a series of regulation type basketball games. I had the best time attending the Novi vs. Brighton matchup this week, so let's go and focus. On Tuesday, the Wildcats hosted the Bulldogs for Novi's first ever unified basketball game. And as you can see, everyone was having a ball. Schools from the KLAA uh, have come together to develop this league where these kids are going to get a, a great opportunity to experience what our varsity athletes and, and many of our athletes get by playing against other schools in a competitive, uh, fun-filled basketball game. Each team has three players on the court with special needs and two partners to help assist in the game. Some of our kids, our special needs kids, probably don't need any help, believe me. Um, but for those who do, they're going to get that extra assistance. This is Shane's second year being a partner for Project Unified. He joined because of his brother Lance, who just so happened to be the lead scorer of the night with over 16 points. Shane has seen firsthand the benefits Sports Inclusion and Project Unified has had on his brother. He's gotten a lot more friends. He's a lot more happy at home and at school, and it's just a lot better for him overall. There was another superstar on the court attracting a lot of attention, Robbie Heil. You may remember him from his viral touchdown a few years ago, but he traded his football for a basketball and was ready to take his best shot on the court with all his friends. Yeah, Robbie's a little bit of a legend around here. He is our hydration engineer for our, our boys and girls basketball teams here when we play at home. And so now it's their turn to get him water. There are six other schools participating in this unified league basketball scheduling. Heartland had a full crowd at their game last week. The hope is to get the KLAA to have year-round unified leagues and to get other districts to follow suit. As people are watching this show today, uh, I challenge the other leagues here in Metro Detroit and across the state to do something just like this. You know, you join teams to have fun and be with your friends, and that's exactly what these kids are doing. This is what educational athletics is all about. For In Focus, I'm Kiara Hay. I'm Gabe O'Neill. Let's head over to the mats where we had the Airport High School Jets taking on the Flat Rock Rams at home. Getting it started for the Jets was senior state finalist Kyle Bergmuser in the 171 class with a nice takedown that would put him in position to get the pin on Flat Rock's Jarek Rebs. The Rams trying to hold their own in the 145 as Seth Copeland makes a nice escape from Airport's Justin Chambliss, but would come up just short on points at the end of the grudge match. The Jets would continue to dominate as the big man, Sam Johnson, wastes no time in the 285 class, locking up his opponent and getting the pin after just 30 seconds. The home crowd was not disappointed as the Airport Jets walk away with the dub over Flat Rock. Let's go to gymnastics as Forest Hills United took on three-time defending state champs, Rockford Sparta. We kick this meet off with the vault. The Rams of Rockford in black and orange. Morgan Case sticks the landing, scoring first with a 9.6 to 
helping Rockford edge out Forest Hills off the ball. Next, we move to the uneven bars. Check out Hannah Walters from Forest Hills United, bar to bar and gaining momentum. Keeps the landing snug and helps her team outscore Rockford on the uneven bars. Ashley Faulkner takes to the mat for the floor exercise. Check out the energy through the flips and she nails the landings. Rockford will go on to win the day, edging out Forest Hills United. And finally, we head to the pool in Ann Arbor for a tri-meet as it was Dexter, Skyline, and Huron facing off. We start with the 50 freestyle and it was a good ending to this one. Top of your screen, it would be the senior, Adam Moskus, would edge out Nicholas Eberly for the victory. Dexter came in the two-time defending Division II state champs. Another great ending here in the 200 relay. Middle of your screen and it would be Casey Dolan gets to the wall first for the dub. But too much skyline on this night in the 400 free relay, the anchor Michael McGillivray will cruise on in for the win as the Eagles go on to take the meet. I'm Gabe O'Neill for State Champs. In honor of February being Black History Month, State Champs is acknowledging some of the outstanding individuals who made a difference in Michigan high school athletics. We start off our celebrations with one of the best defensive ends in Michigan high school history, Brandon Graham. Brandon attended Crockett Tech High School in Detroit and quickly gained national attention. In 2005, USA Today named him the top high school linebacker in the nation. After completing four years as a Wolverine on a full scholarship, he was a first round draft pick for the Philadelphia Eagles in 2010. Fast forward to 2018, Graham is still a defensive end for the Eagles and will be center stage at this year's Super Bowl. SnapCamp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the Ram Truck Month event, you can lease a Ram Crew Cab 4x4 as low as $89 a month, or a Jeep Grand Cherokee, now just $249. Sales service and a superior buying experience. That's SnapCamp on Telegraph Road in Redford. SnapCamp, Metro Detroit's original. SnapCamp, SnapCamp. Hey, I ordered a large veggie with garlic herb crust. Veggie? I thought you were more of a meat eater's man. Oh, I am, but now I can do both. Look, flavor patch. How does that work? What happens when that's gone? I've got Howie bread strapped to my legs. Flavor fanatics love us because we make our dough fresh daily and have meal deals for any budget. Hungry? Howie! Flavor fanatics welcome. I want a career in robotics and automation, so I chose Lawrence Tech for its first in Michigan robotics engineering program. LTU's brand new STEM complex has a robotics lab where we can design, build, and program robots in a creative atmosphere. And the best thing is, I haven't graduated yet, but I already have a job in my field. I know I made the right choice for my career. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Welcome back to State Champs. Our latest State Champs rankings in boys basketball have four teams from the Detroit Public School League across all divisions. One matchup this week featured two of them, and it's this week's main event. To downtown, we go. Ring the bell for round two of a Detroit Public School League clash as the Henry Ford Trojans looking to sweep the regular season series over the technicians from Cass Tech. Winner of this one in the driver's seat to win the West Division. We have Henry Ford seventh in our Class B rankings, Trojan state champs just two years ago. They got going here from the perimeter. Anthony Roberts with the baseline drive. The dish to Deontay Ulmer in the corner, knocks down the three and one. He had 17 points on the night. Trojans led 43 to 32 at halftime. Henry Ford maintained momentum to start the second half, getting tricky with it too. In transition, behind the back bounce pass from Antonio Green to Roberts, uncontested. Trojans up 13. Class A seventh ranked Cast Tech will soon begin defense of their city championship. End of the third, fighting back off the rebound. Mike Washington Hill, coast to coast, scoop and the score. Technicians down just six, 62 to 56 into the fourth. Under a minute left, 
CT down a deuce, but working it. Jalen Tobias finds Randy Gilbert with his back to the basket, then count it. Team high 27 for Gilbert. We were headed into overtime, but the Trojans just too tough. Textbook transition offense, Roberts to the 10 and the contact, 21 of his game high 39 came in the second half. Detroit Henry Ford beats Cast Tech for the second time, 76 to 73 the final. City playoffs tip off next week. Time now for this week's edition of our Great Clips, Clip of the Week. Let's go back to earlier in the show, Grand Rapids Catholic Central versus Ludington, Austin Braun and Daryl Belcher in perfect sync. Booyah, the Clip of the Week, presented by Great Clips. It's gonna be great. That's all we got this week, but we leave you with two more pieces of info that you just have to know. Yes, for all the gamers, we want you. Esports is sweeping the nation, and State Champs has set up the first ever Esports High School League in the country. We're looking for 32 schools with teams of five players each to compete in our League of Legends season. Beginning in March, 16 teams will qualify for a two-day postseason tournament here at Lawrence Technological University in mid-May. Tons of scholarship money and prizes will be given, and everything is totally free to you. So, the league is entirely online, and games take place when the time is best for your team, day or night. Go to esportsmichigan.com for all the details. Well said. Also, the deadline to apply for consideration as a nominee for the Detroit Athletic Club's Male and Female Athlete of the Year has been extended to February 15th. We're looking for all state athletes, a GPA of 3.0 or better, and some volunteerism or school leadership. You can't be considered if you don't apply. Six male and six female nominees will automatically receive a $1,000 scholarship. Winner gets $5,000 each. Go to DACathleteoftheyear.com right now. Wrestling districts get going next week, and we might even have some coverage of the state pom-pom finals, too. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter all week long for everything happening in high school sports. We'll see you next week. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Raiser, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people.